Hello, and welcome to another week of Aladdin number 58. It's nice because I can pretend that I've been doing this for 58 weeks, but... <laughs> Anyhow, what are we gonna do today? Well, I was thinking I wanna do beatboxing. But not just, you know, beatboxing. I mean... Yes, it would also be nice if I would, you know, up my game in the... But uh, mainly I want to focus on the RC505. Because beatboxers use that looper to, you know, make their songs. But I use it completely differently. For instance, I don't usually do stuff like... I don't use tracks like that. Uh, and I also don't use the quick clear, so maybe I want to try that out. And I just want to create one of those songs that beatboxes would do, you know, in their style. In a a three-minute song that they usually use in loop station battles. And they use a lot of input effects, a lot of track effects, you know, and, and build up their song. And I kind of want to do a song in that style this week. So that's the challenge for this week. And as always, we're going to start with... Uh, just doing such a song in the style without actually knowing what I'm doing. So, that's one of the things that I know how it works doing this kind of beat with a slicer. But I need some bassy kind of stuff. Okay, I don't want to say I give up, but uh, I leave it at that. We have a full week to figure this stuff out. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow. All right, change of plans. I don't just want to create a track in the style of... I actually want to cover a track. One of the most iconic tracks in Loop Station Beatbox of all time. I want to cover... Saro Oras. That's a track that I listened to like before I got my loop station. That was one of the tracks that just hyped me to get my own RC505. Because just like, <laughs> that's amazing. Can't wait for my loop station to be here. And uh, yeah, I like, I always wanted to cover that track. I just never found it time to do it i guess like in the beginning i thought i have no idea how i could possibly do that that's like so out of my reach now with so many tutorials like the one from vision elf and now even swiss beatbox does a tutorial series with mb14 so now i feel like even though i don't have the beatboxing techniques at all i feel like i could at least somehow cover it and get the gist of it you know get at least you know, the melodies approximately. And that's my goal. I, I want to get as close as possible 
for me to the original by Saro. Yes. And there is a lot of uh, tricks with the loop station that are done. I don't need to figure them all out on the first day. Let's just try and, you know, perform it as best as we can without much preparation. So, let's listen to the track first. That always helps. Woo! Ah, that sounds amazing. I love it still. Although I heard it a thousand times already. Yeah, if I start my show with that sort of track, that definitely gets my energy up to perform a lot better. So, that's a reason for me to learn this track. Until Monday. We only have one, two, three, four days. Let's do this. He starts with actually pressing the... Now the question is, what timing does he have? So let's answer the answer the simple questions first. What, what beats per minute is that? In my count, that's 225. Na, 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 na. Oh wait, first first there comes a snare. Something like that. I mean definitely doesn't sound uh, as nice as with Saro, but hey, who am I? And then comes the du 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 uh, uh, uh. And those are octave jumps, and I already know the trick. It's a pitch bend with reverb and kicks. Okay, let's see. Pitch bend. Pitch bend. Reverb. reverb. Yes. I don't know how much reverb. We can play with that, I think. And then pitch bend will pitch bend upwards. Yes. Ah, you hear that? That already sounds a lot like what what Saro what yeah ah 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 ah. Hey, hey, we're getting somewhere. Okay, and now we we that was plus four octaves. Now let's do plus three and plus two. <laughs> amazing, amazing! Holy shit! See, that's why Saro is just a loop station god. <laughs> Yeah! Oh, that's amazing. That's and that's and that's so easy. That's literally you just do. That, that's the and I, you don't need to be a professional beatboxer to be able to do that. You just need to have a professional beatboxing machine. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> nice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think that's the next part. Okay, he does three layers of that siren technique that I can't do. For now, I can just do. And the tuning comes automatically from.
I mean, that gets very high, but I think I have the harmonies without thinking anything. I just did whatever I thought was like harmony to that that I recognized from the song. I just did that. Literally, a year ago, when I got the loop station, I could have never imagined to do those harmonies without any effort, but I guess. And now, now it gets high. <laughs> This is outside my normal singing voice. There's a better technique to do this, I think. And we're gonna learn that at some point. Just not today. Today we leave it with. Yeah. Oh, that's the closest I got to Auras ever. Love it, love it. And now, now for the drop. He, he uses a beat scatter with pretty obviously the pattern four. So the na 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 doesn't really work that well with the beat scatter, at least not in the pattern that I sang it right now. <laughs> and one more. <laughs> and again. <laughs> But he doesn't do it that long. The beat scatter drop comes later in the track. First, there's still the guitar to bass. Once he has that, he stops everything and then does like a <laughs> and starts everything. And then, then he does another melody part. I think that's all he records. And then he already does the the beat scatter. Okay, let's try. <laughs> and then And then, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's more to the drop. After the drop, what's after the drop? I think a slicer. Let's listen again. First thing I realize, he also he also slices this. Yep. He also beat scatters this. And let's find out what slicer he uses. We have a P6 slicer with a rate of a dotted eight. Okay. Yeah, 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 that's it, that's it, that sounds good. I mean that's already that's already getting there. You can definitely see that I'm 
trying to cover that track. So if you hear that, then you definitely get Saru Oras, if you know the track. And I think I want to leave it here. I think I'm going to call it and continue tomorrow because there's so much more to explore, so many more techniques to learn, so much more to, you know, figure out how I have to do the tracks. So I'm going to rewatch some tutorials and I'm going to be even better tomorrow. All right. Now that work is over, let's play. <laughs> And let's see what we remembered from yesterday. I don't know how to do a shaker. I'm gonna leave that in there because I can. And then... And then it went... Oh shit, I don't even remember. Oh yeah, we just go with that and that <laughs> Not clean, not, not clean, but but close enough. And now I remember. Yes, I remember. Oh.
That's also not it. What was what was that freaking melody? It was that, wasn't it? Approximately something like that. So it was that melody. I'm just confusing myself with that. But uh, it's nice. It's nice to perform it. It's just it just always gives me energy. It's so much fun. This track is so much fun, man. <laughs> That was that was actually quite nice. Even though I didn't intend it, but that sounds a lot better. Because I used to start them all at the same time, but this time I forgot to stop the beat. The beat and the, the shuffle thingy. Um, but like that, it sounds actually a lot better if I start it only on the first. Because then it's like empty and boom! <laughs> Not sure, maybe <sighs> compare with <laughs> Sure, I definitely need the bass on the one, so that needs to be on the one, definitely. Um, but the kick, if that only comes in on the two, can sound nice. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure if I, I don't. I'm not sure, and I don't mind if it's different in the original. If I like it better that way, I can definitely change it. If I do it like that with putting in the hi-hats and, and the kick and the shuffle on the two is not only nicer, it, it, it sounds a bit nicer to me if you ask me. Maybe I'm doing the kick wrong, wrong, but I like it on the two, so I'm just going to keep that. But also, it's easier because I can be 
this and this at the same time, and then at the two this. So I can do it one-handedly. Now, one important thing to note here is that I did it the wrong way around. I did it the other way around, Saro does it. He has the kick and hi-hats not on five and four, but on one and two. I'm used to the kick and the bass, like, different track layout. Let's do it again. Yeah, build up. Okay, I mean, we're getting closer. Small steps every day. Now, I gotta go edit the video. I'll see you tomorrow. Where we do some more. Saro Oras. Hello. Welcome again on the same day. I can't leave it at that. I just, I want to continue. I want to continue. And specifically, I want to find out how he does the na 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 part. Because I'm just singing. Na 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 And that's not what Saro does. According to MB14, Saro uses a technique called the siren where he makes his lip vibrate. And I have no idea how to do that. But I want to figure it out. So let's figure it out. I mean, it's something's vibrating there, but it's definitely... It sounds like I'm blowing into the mic, which is what I'm doing. How can I make the lip drive without blowing in there? Huh? Are we getting there? I get it a little bit, but it, I don't. I don't think it's. Enough. That that sounds cool. And then with the chorus. That's what beatboxing is about, right? Just figuring out what sounds you can make with the mouth. Mm. Figuring out what you can do with the mouth. Mm. Okay. Well, let's do the song with uh, what we experimented with. Let's see if we already got further to where we want to go. <laughs> already just forcing it out and not not siren anymore but it's better I guess it's better <laughs> We 
we're getting closer. We're getting closer. We're not there yet, <laughs> but we're getting closer. The next thing I need is a proper kick. I'm really missing the, the like, need to do proper kicks. Yeah, put another chorus there, why not? <laughs> Gotta work on the end as well. Okay, bye. Right, so I was just watching some YouTube tutorials on how to do the siren sound because I'm not good at it at all. I, I couldn't even reproduce it today. I was like, And basically all the tutorials say, sing in your falsetto voice, mm -hmm. just high, yeah, I can do that, yeah, okay, good. And uh, then put your upper teeth on your lower lips. But my problem is if I hum, it all goes through the nose. And then finally I found a tutorial that told me that first you need to be able to hum through nose and mouth at the same time. And I'm currently practicing that. Like... Mm, nope. But they say it should sound the same. I can hum through the mouth, yes? Oh. But when I block it, it changes. Because then if I just put my lips down there, it that just blocks the humming through the mouth. Mm -hmm. Then it goes all through the nose. I can't figure it out. So annoying. I mean, yes, that takes practice, like months. If you get it. But I want to do it in a day, God damn it! I mean, I have nothing else planned for today, right? I mean, the way I did it is just do it on the top of the lips and then like super smooth like like that it's still gets a vibration because because I can still push air through because there is such an open hole there if I put it like lower I completely block it I should do this with a microphone, shouldn't I? It's just just such a little bit, such a tiny little. I want a proper vibration. I mean, I kind of get it. Now, can I also block the mouth? To just hear the mouth and not the nose. That's that's just too. I need to work on my technique that I don't need that much effort to do it because if I need effort then it's A bad for my voice and B I usually get it wrong. Alright, let's do it. so exhausting and also I'm peaking <laughs> the problem see see the general problem I have here is that everything is way too loud 
So I don't hear my do 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 anymore. It needs to be louder than, and that's fucking loud. So we're gonna do this yet again and try and start quietly. I did four again. Four again. It's again so loud, so fucking loud. I'm beating. Hello. <laughs> okay, so it's the last day that I have for preparing because tomorrow I want to perform it, obviously. This is gonna show whether or not it will actually get my energy up and whether or not it can actually motivate me. Because yesterday I tried to perform the song while streaming on Twitch. <laughs> just it just didn't work the first time ever that I just struggled with finding the right melody sure of two things one i have a reliable way of finding the second melody the one that goes down that is then used for the drop and then secondly i need to somehow make my kicks kick more and that's what we're gonna do today i let you look over my shoulder uh that you actually see the looper and uh let's just get started and uh Perform it once and then we see which uh, problems uh, arise. I will prepare an extra EQ with a plus 10 low, minus 10 mid. Then of course dynamics, hardcore dynamics. And then with an EQ I hopefully get a proper... <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that hopefully makes my kicks better. And and again, as always, this is way too loud, way too loud. Whatever. Oh, 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 
Okay, so first of all, I can't have the kick any louder than uh, because I don't want it to peak, obviously. Um, and I mean, it's there. Um, it's just still so quiet in comparison to the rest. I really don't like it. Anyhow, we have that, but now I need to find the melody that is so hard to find for me, apparently. Let, let's see if I just manage this time. <laughs> And see the fact, the fact that I need to push it that high that I hear myself means that all of this is just way too loud. And I can't make all of this more quiet because I need to record this melody on top of another track. So I can't make this more quiet. This needs to be here. <laughs> Because the problem is, I mean, I find the, I find one, but then the second one, is usually in an in a range where I can't reach it anymore. So I need to really have the that low. Let's go. <laughs> getting there right it's definitely performable but again I'm uh, gonna do it again and this time make sure that in the beginning it already needs to be super quiet I want all of those to be on top I need all the faders to be on top and it still needs to be quiet enough that you know what I mean <laughs> exactly the point where I'm always struggling. Finding those and having the proper nice harmony. You know what? Keyboard help me. Let's see if I can make that melody with the keyboard. Because if I can make it with the keyboard, I can reproduce it. <laughs> because 
I, I am assuming that the key is always the same given by that. Because I'm doing my my kick always the same, so the pitch band should always give me that key, right? And that's that's what defines the key for me. From here, I, I find the pitch for this. Okay, what did we do? Just to uh, repeat, the we did an A. So apparently A is my root here. A, G, F, D. And then uh, the harmony on top was C, B flat, A, and that's an F. Let's see if it works. <laughs> Let's see if, if we do it all over again, if it then still works. <laughs> I don't I don't get the the first note of the of the upper melody. Do 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 this one this do this must be on point at the very first time because otherwise it sounds horrible. Try again. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I think we're getting there. I think we're getting there. One last time just to rehearse and then we're ready for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Do 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 do
good show. I'm like, in the beginning it was a bit slow because I didn't have anybody commenting anything. But then when more people joined, it was better and better. And uh, yeah, pretty happy in the end. Did some character work and uh, performed Saro Auras, of course, twice. <laughs> so yeah, it was good. It was good. So I'm happy with this week's Eladim. Definitely happy. Not only did I learn to cover a song, I also learned a beatboxing technique, the siren. That I don't, you know, I, I'm not that good yet. Sometimes it doesn't work, but uh, I'm getting better. And even just knowing about it already is a plus. So, yeah, I'm happy with this week's project. Now you let me know if I should cover any other songs. Don't even necessarily need to be like by a beatboxing loop station artist. Can be like anything. I'm open for all the suggestions. Also, if you want to recommend a genre that I should learn, then do that. Because I think next week I want to do a genre again. Yeah. Was a good week. Was a good Aladim. And uh, you, go make a backup. Listen to some more music. And... Uh, I'll see you around. <laughs>